Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. We're on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny and we're on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. Well, guess what? Look at all these envelopes. I have this box that I got at a thrift store or something. Um, I think it each actually had like a little top or something that went on it. I'm not sure what it was for, but I, I keep all my envelopes in here. Some of them are coffee stained. Some of them aren't. And what I do is I just go through and pick out what I want. So I thought today maybe we would go ahead and, um, you know, I don't know, play with some, play with some of them. So I'm just going to pull out a few. I'll use that one. They're all kind of different. I think this one's really neat. It's really has, you know, the whole window. But I haven't decided quite what to do with that. Uh, that's kind of neat. Okay, so I'll set these aside. So, um, yeah, these just come with, I don't even know what comes in them. Um, one thing is, I try to be careful to open them. This one looks like I just went for it. But typically what I'll do is I'll just cut off the end so that I can then decide whatever I want to do with it because I don't really know half the time what I want to do with it. Sorry about my nails. Oh, look, I, I tried on a couple of different colors of polish. Oh, my goodness, I'm a mess. Oh, boy. Um, so then what I normally will do is I'll square them up because even if I cut it, I might have cut it a little wonky just because... I probably did it with scissors. And then, you know, you can open it up um, again. And if you wanted to, you could glue this shut again, too. And I like it to be nice and straight. Not really sure what we're going to do, but I do know that I want to use um, the Junk Journal Studios Botanicals. And rumor has it that she has... Uh, that's going to be barely going to fit in there. Uh, barely. That she has um, her red kit. I cannot wait to get that cut out because there's some little red mushrooms, it looks like. Okay, I think that's going to be about right. Even though I've got it squished in. So, go over to the Junk Journal Studio and uh, check it out. I'm going to go ahead and cut this little thing off here from where I just totally ripped into it. I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. So, okay, I'll set this over here. I also got out... So, I have a Junk Journal Studio, what I cut on my... On Joey and our eyes uh, last trip. Let's see, where were we going? I think we went to meet his folks. Have a trip goofing around with his folks. So I got out my florals. Um, and I think I'm going to use this one. I, I like this Saturday Stamper. They're all beautiful. But I was thinking maybe that black and white would be pretty. And I also feel like, um, hmm. let me see, Let, let's look in that one and see if it's the one I'm thinking of, because I was thinking that I had a different one, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see what we can do with that. Saturday Stamper on on Etsy. It says that it was 30% off when I purchased it for a limited time. And honestly, I have no idea how long ago that's been. All right, what do we want to do? Um, let's go ahead and... and work on this one and let's go ahead and open it the way that I normally do. Just 
take that little edge off and I think I'll take this edge off too. Okay. <laughs> Better keep that out, I guess. Okay, excuse the reach. I forgot to get my... Well, I don't even see my glue book. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Better put it over here. All right. So these are, these are pretty neat. Although, hmm... They are going different direction. And let's see how wide that window is. Okay. So if we were to fold it, well, we could, we could, well, okay. Ugh. Um, I'm thinking I want it to go this way and then fold this up. So this may not work unless we just collage, which we could very easily do. Let's just do that. Okay. All right. I'm getting my, I'm getting it together. All right. Gotta figure out here what's going on. What is going on? All right, I'm just lining that up. One of these days, I'm gonna get me a. I'm gonna get me a desk board that ha a mat that has has all the measurements, so I can I can see what's going on here. Okay. I don't know why I did that, but let's see what happens there. I think that's fine. That be kind of, let's wrap it around this way. That would help with that edge that's, you know, kind of wonky. But I, I did tear it a little bit too, too short there, but it'll work. Okay, so we have that. Just glue that down. And then we have this. Kind of take these off a little bit because they're not really glued down. I probably should have just glued it down. Maybe I'll do that with this side. Yeah, it's all an experiment. It's a willy-nilly over here. Joey is, it's, it's a little bit later tonight. Joey's at Bible study, men's Bible study. So uh, he will not be home for a little bit. I'm using this just to make sure that I can get all the way to the edges. And hopefully that it doesn't show through. Sometimes it does, you know. That's neat. And then, um, why not go ahead and just cover the back? But do I have any scraps? Let me look for some scraps. Let's see. Do I have any scraps over here? pages, vellum. I'm just digging through my drawers here. Scraps. Or just paper scraps. And I know I have paper scraps. 
But why I can't find them, I don't know. It's a crazy video today. I don't, what's this? Letters. What's this? Book pages, vellum. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Where are my paper scraps? I guess I mixed some of some of the book pages up because that's what was throwing me is that it had book pages on it. All right. Sorry about that. It took forever. Here's a this might work. This is something that um What did I use that? You know, those, um, I can never remember what they're called, but they're, they come in like little shakers, although unfortunately mine aren't in shakers, but they're pigments and they're kind of a dust. And what I did was I wet the paper and then I shook that on a little bit. Is that what I did? And then, um, Put them out when I did my coffee dye. Okay, I hope this works. We're just playing. This could be tricky. Just a little bit short. <laughs> stretching, stretching it. <laughs> okay. Just a little short here. Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to use my scissors to cut this off because I'm afraid I might get too close with the trimmer and cut that. If I did do that, you could just hinge it with some washi or something or, you know, uh, repair it. Let's see if I did cut through. Nope. Okay. Okay, so there's that. Now, let's fold it back. So now, the, now you have a little bit of journal space. Okay. I'm going to trim this back too. Where's my... Everybody's doing okay. I just kind of got right into it. I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're staying cool in the heat. Or if it's winter where you're at, I hope you're staying warm. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, let's see how tall is this. Nine and a half almost. Nine and a half. Let's see what this is. Eight and a half. Okay. I think I'm going to cut that off, that bottom off. Just be done with it. Yikes. And I think I'm going to just trim this top part where it didn't, for some reason, didn't, for some reason, such as Jenny, 
it didn't reach. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, so we have that. We have this. So that's some journaling space. It's fun. This can have um, like a pocket. What do we have? It could be a pocket. Um, you could just use regular old um, you know just use your digital but I'm, I might have like a little scrap in here that might be a little bit thicker maybe No, they're all too thick. Okay. Well, let's just use one of these. What a pocket. This is really fun paper. It's really pretty. Okay, now I I um, am not sure. Oh, you know what? Let's put this all the way up. Let's put it all the way up so it covers and then um, then we'll make a pocket on top of it. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Just playing around. Alright, let's glue it and then we'll cut that off. Oops. Sorry, I bumped you. I just know that I wanted to use some of the botanicals from the junk journal studio that I had cut out and I was thinking maybe this would be a fun this black and white would be fun to you know do a kind of a collaboration all right Scrap. Okay, let's see. Let's finish this up. Right in there. Let's see if I can get it straight. <laughs> Did it work? Yep. And what's so fun about this paper, well, most collage papers, I guess, is that, you know, you just, it just all goes together because it's collaged. <laughs> so, even though you're cutting it apart, where's that fold? Can't see. So this is going to be airing after the 4th of July. I hope everybody had a wonderful and safe 4th of July.
it always reminds me, 4th of July always reminds me of um, when I was a kid. Um, when I was in high school, I have a little piece right there that needs a little strip right there. When I was in high school, um, my youth group, well, not the whole youth group, but some, some of us, went on a missions trip it was a you know it was just here in the u.s and it was to help start uh this little church in a town that didn't have a have a church and um so we went to lusk wyoming does anybody know where that's at or are you from there or anything well this has been eons ago and, um, gosh, it was such a great, it was such a great time. I really, I really, um, learned a lot about myself in the sense of, um, loving, loving people just for the sake of loving people, you know, and, uh, what that was like. Um, how to be okay with being uncomfortable, uh, physically and, um, emotionally uncomfortable because, you know, we would go door to door to, um, invite people to, um, you know, what, well, the church wasn't even built. So we had some activities in the park. So, um, that fit yeah so it, I learned a lot so I always think about it because we were there on the 4th and we had taken a big school bus and um, drove all the way to <laughs> Lusk, Wyoming and is that going to be big enough I'm not doing a very good job tearing sat on top of the school bus to do fireworks and uh, there was really only one I mean there were college kids that were that went with us a, f a couple of college kids there wasn't a bunch of us there was only probably 12 of us that went anyways there was um, some college kids maybe four college kids I don't know I don't I don't really remember I just remember there's there, you know, there was like a couple of, co a couple of girls you were assigned to, you know, one of them was your sponsor or whatever they were called, counselor or whatever they were called. Um, there was a couple of girls and a couple of guys. Anyway, so we sat on top of the school bus and, uh, to do fireworks and I had a firecracker in my hand and we were lighting the firecrackers and then throwing them in the air, you know, to hear them pop. Well, we all know that's dangerous. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you should never, ever hold a firework and light it. But that's what we were doing. And, um, yeah, so I had one and I went to... I lit it, I went to throw it, pulled it back by my ear to give it a toss, and it went off in my ear. And I just remember this unbelievable ringing in my ear and could not hear it really much. It was, everything was, it was a really weird feeling. It was, um... Hmm, what would it be like? Uh, it's kind of like when I, in high school, went to the Molly Hatchet concert and thought I lost my hearing as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, terrible feeling. Um, so my counselor drove me to, I, somebody had a car where we were staying and let us use it. They, and so my counselor 
drove me to a pay phone and I called my mom and dad to tell them and you know it was one of those things where um, are you okay and yes okay thanks for calling you know what I mean <laughs> that's the way it was back then thank you thanks for calling but another thing was it was long distance and you know you were charged by the minute and um, it was very expensive back then to make a call <laughs> anyway so that's my 4th of July one of my 4th of July stories but one of the greatest things that happened on 4th of July other than you know the independence is um, Joey and I getting married so yeah so that's another wonderful thing about 4th of July Okay, so we've got this done, and we have that done in a sense of that it's covered. And now one thing that's super fun is to cover these with, like, just get your stamps out and cover it. That's really fun, I think. I don't know what this is. That, oh, that's that paper. This has taken me much longer than I thought it would, but having fun with it. Okay, so I have that. Now, I do want to put a pocket in here. I want to put a pocket in there. Uh, where are my... Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. This is from the kit. So I want something that runs this way, but that's too little for this little project here. Let's see what we have here. What's this? Okay, so this would be okay because I don't mind it being, you know, so close to here because I want whatever I put in to be able to be seen. So I think that's going to be okay to put there. I'll just stick it back in here because you know I'm notorious for dropping stuff on the floor. I'm going to distress this, but I'm not going to distress the rest of it right now. And I don't think I want to put a little thumb hole in here. I think it'll be fine. Okay. Now I'm trying to think of what to do with the front. Make sure I didn't get that. Okay. A little off center, but it'll be fine. Um, yeah. So what to do with the front? And we could do the same thing. You could sew around it, you know. Got all these layers. That would be kind of neat, too. Well, let's just put, um, I don't want to cut that bird off. Okay. What do we have here? That is so pretty. That would have been perfect. But I didn't see it in time, did I? <laughs> mm. So pretty. Uh, let's put this butterfly here. I think what I'm going to do is kind of give it a little measure here. pencil out. Right at the top of the butterfly's wing. Okay, let's do that first. 
Oh, I stopped at the smoothie place today. You know, I, I think I told you that my granddaughter started working at this, the local smoothie place. And uh, they make an orange Julius that I, I'm not orange Julius, good grief. <laughs> Gosh, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> they make a smoothie that reminds me of an orange Julius. So I like to... Uh, <laughs> to go once in a while and get that um, and I had been working outside and it was so hot and sticky and gross so I thought well what better thing to do than expose myself to everybody else and uh, <laughs> expose my grossness to everybody else and go get a smoothie so that's what I did and then I thought, you know what, while I'm out, just go to Walmart. <laughs> so I did that, and then I went to Aldi. <laughs> In all my grime. And no one cared. And I was just like, oh, am I going to see anybody I know? <laughs> Since this is a little bit tore up here, I'm going to do that. For now. And I think I'm going to use, just use some uhu on that. So, yeah, so I went and got a smoothie. It's so delicious. Perfect day for it. Today was, uh, the Weather Channel app said that it felt like 107. And I can vouch for that. It did feel like it was 107. And uh, being outside was miserable, but you know our our flowers are still, you know they're still in the newbie stage, and I just wanted to make sure they had water, and then I filled the bird bath. Poor little bird bath babies. Now I'm gonna just cut that off. Joey fed the birds the other day. Oh my gosh, it's been so fun to watch them. Okay. All right, now let's put something up here. Oh, that one's going to overlap. That's okay. Well... Okay, has anybody started watching, um, oh, what was that Netflix show I was telling you about? Um, uh, or not Netflix, Prime. Um, not Legends. Oh, gosh. The one where the, they're con artists. I find it to be so fun to watch that. I don't know why. Um, oh brother, maybe Joey will come home while I'm doing this and I can ask him. I get it wrong every time, every time we talk about it. I should have written it down. I shouldn't have said anything about it, should I? Anyways, um, we, we watch one or half of one in the evening. Sometimes we just watch half of one. We're just like, we're done. We're out. We're sleepy. Uh, but I find it to be fun. Um, so far, it has not been gory and it hasn't been um adult if you know what i mean i mean there's adult uh content in the sense of you know like some drinking and conversation and stuff but there's no 
has it so far hasn't been like skin and stuff <clears throat> okay now what about the top that's just about perfect anyways and it's uh, you know there's some humor some humor in it the characters are all very very different and you know they've all come together to do these scams the thing about it is it's that they're uh, now see I probably should have done those too <laughs> the thing about it is is they're doing these scams to scam artists so they're getting back whatever has been taken in a scam. So they're professional scammers, but now they're doing it to, I guess, what you would say, right or wrong. <laughs> okay, there's that. Now let's now let's see. Where's what did I do with that? Okay, here's here's my stuff that maybe we can make something to go in this pocket oh my gosh I was like tell me I did not glue that down <laughs> so that is going to need to be we may only get one done I don't know yeah I think we might only get one done But it's going to be a really good effort. Now, uh, let's see what's going to happen here. I just take that little bit off. Maybe we round the other corner. Let me grab my corner, corner rounder. I'll try to remember... I'll try to remember the, that's not the right one, good grief, the name of that and put it in the comments in case you're interested. Because, you know, I don't know, if you're like me, it's hard to find a show that you can watch and, you know, not be embarrassed if other people come through the living room or something. There's just so much now that almost everything is adult, you know. Um, <laughs> we're still watching Murder, She Wrote. We're still watching that. Again, we only watch like one, maybe one. I mean, half or maybe we get through one. I usually fall asleep during it. And then I'm just like, that's okay, let's go to the next one. I don't have to I don't have to finish it. It's fine. Okay, so then that's gonna fit in there. Make sure that Yeah. Does it go all the way down? Yeah, okay. So that's gonna go in there. Get this out of the way. And maybe we keep a little piece of that, but I think put the rest of this. Do I want to put the rest away? Yeah, let's put these away. What do I do with that? Oh, it's back here. Okay, I think we can put that away. Corner rounder away. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I keep shutting my pencil in the drawer and it's shaking everything. All right, now. Let's look at the papers that we have, or the scraps we have left, and see what we want to, how we want to decorate. How we want to decorate this. Oh, let's see. I was going to say that pretty rose would, let's see, where is that? Here it is. 
This would be pretty. That would be really pretty. Let's see if we can kind of fussy it. Fussy tear it. I'm hoping to have uh, maybe a video or so on the finds that we, you know, bring back from our trip. You know, you always find something. There's always a story to tell. This is probably going to be the longest road trip that Joey and I have taken. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling good about it though. I'm feeling good about it. Sometimes road trips can bring out a different part of you. I get car sick so easy. I can get car sick with Joey pulling out of a parking lot. And then I just try to, uh, when it's that quick, when I get car sick that quick, motion sickness, I'll call it that. I try to, I try to keep it to myself because I know he's going to hear about it for the whole trip. So I try to minimize the comments as I can. Yeah, praying through it. <laughs> okay. So that's going to go just like right here. And I wonder if we can cut this little vintage sign out. Fun little components, oops, to the whole collage thing, isn't it? Okay. All right. I'm good with that. I don't think I'm going to um, distress this one with a uh, vintage photo because I think that'll just help the flower to stand out a little bit better. I don't. As usual, I've worked myself into a six by six square workstation here. <laughs> okay, and that'll go there. Okay, and then we'll we'll use um, something from the kit. If I can get everything done tomorrow, Joey's getting off work early. Tomorrow's actually when we're gonna leave. So, like I said, um, I'm I'm taping these a little bit ahead of time so we're going to be leaving tomorrow and if I can get enough done I'm going to print the junk journal studio botanical in red and do some fussy cutting because it really does help me and I think um to, to stay focused like that because it gives me something to do for one on a long trip but also, I think it helps um, not concentrate on what's going on on the road. 
I'm a nervous Nelly on the road for sure, especially on highways when there's so many uh, uh, semi trucks and yada yada. Hmm. That's going to be fine. I'm going to use this because it's cardstock. I want it to stick down really good. Okay. This will be writing space. Might put, I'm thinking here, I might put a little piece of that ephemera on here. I think it might be cute. Yeah, so I have a lot to do. I need to get my nails figured out. Either I'm going to cut them off or I'm going to need to paint them. And so cute. I love these. Um, I need to do that. I always do... A big cleaning of the house. I think I told you this. I always do a big cleaning of the house before I leave. Uh, I don't want to come home to anything. I want it to be very nice and tidy and clean. So it does make for um, the back. My back doesn't feel that great when I leave. But what did I put on this side? South side, plot three. Then we'll put east side back here. Um, but it sure makes a difference when we get home from a trip. I kind of worked it to where we get home, unless we decide to stay longer, but to where we get home and Joey still has some vacation time left before he has to go back to work. So it would be nice to come home and not have chores to do, you know? Okay. Oopsie. <laughs> so Laying very good. Okay. Well, I think it turned out okay. You can add, add, and add. And add. Anything you want. You could put more. You could put some stamps. Like postage stamps. You could... Um, I'm just kind of putting a little bit around that edge there. You could use, you know, your rubber stamps if you wanted to. Probably going to look and see what else is in this kit. Michelle's kit here and add to it a little bit. Once you get one done, once you figure out what you want to do, because every time you open an envelope or use an envelope, I mean, it's totally different. Once you figure out what you want to do, you could just really hammer these out, you know, because they're not difficult. The difficult part is trying to decide what you want to do first. I think I'm going to round that corner. Hopefully there's enough glue to, yeah. 
so uh, probably put a little bit of now you could definitely write on some of this right um, but I'll probably put a little bit of writing space on here too maybe add it with some washi I didn't think about tying in this yellow and pink even though it's pretty oh I made it when we oh that's right I made this when we when I was doing the Joey Cardmaker Groovy Journal. I wanted some dyed paper to go in it instead of just coffee dyed. Ooh, I better hurry. Joey's going to be home. He's going to want to have dinner. He's bringing dinner home tonight, so I don't want to delay. I need to add some ink to my ink pad here. I need to trim that one side up a little bit. This right here. No, this goes this way. Yep, you can do whatever you want. You can add all kinds of stuff. I'll probably punch a hole here, put some ribbon, and add a few more ditties to it. Let's do one more ditty, and then I've got to run. I think I like this one. Add a ditty and then I gotta run. <laughs> One of these days I'm gonna break down and just spend the whole day in here. I don't know why I don't do that. I need to just set aside a day to spend the whole day. I mean, if I was sewing something, I would do it. I don't know why why I don't with journaling if I was making something for someone else I would do it it's weird isn't it how when it's just for our own delight sometimes we put it second or even third or fourth or do it and then feel like we should have done something else. That's very much me. I'm sure there's some something I need to work through on that. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Thanks everybody for hanging with me. I wanted to get an envelope done. Play with it a little bit. Um I have a cap. Oh, here it is. Yep, so um, I might do one more video tomorrow. I don't know. Listen, I'm going to get up super early. And if I can get everything done and packed, I'm not even packed. If I can get everything done, I'm going to do another video. But if I don't, then I might just do a video while we're out and about and show you what we're doing. That's cute. I like it. All right. Well, thanks for hanging with me. Uh, as I'm not real sure what I was doing, and it took a while. Really appreciate it. Thanks for um, always your sweet, sweet comments and for subscribing and following us. And don't forget if you want to share something on Facebook, something you've made, um, feel free to do that. Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House, and we will see you in the next video. We pray blessings over you, and we want you to know you're so loved. Bye!